big Texas building. This is the holy place of the science of the world. The laboratory of Nikola Tesla, which was built from 1905 to uh, from 1901 to 1905. The designer was the famous American architect Stanford White, who was also a Tesla friend. And this place was actually built by the money of uh, J.P. Morgan, because Tesla wanted to bring the huge energy from Niagara Falls to the place, and then from there all over the world saturate a uh, 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 globe with electricity that every peasant in India, China, uh, Europe, etc. can put the wires and then get the light. But then JP Morgan asked Tesla, how can we charge these people who you, uh, this electricity who you give you all over the world? When he didn't get the uh, uh, right answer, Tesla, uh, they did, uh, uh, they did uh, discontinue the, the, the money and uh, the whole thing was never built. But this is the place where many scientific achievements which we are using today, like a cellular telephone, wireless uh, uh, transmission of uh, uh, electrical energy, etc. And this wireless transmission is so important that uh, today, by the crisis that we have here, it is so important that, that we really have to examine that and maybe we use that because transmission of electrical energy without wires will probably solve the energy crisis in, in the world. Tesla is one of the greatest genius of the world and we are happy to have this place here and the whole world is interested. We are now in contact with the Balkan state, as you know, Tesla was born in Croatia and from Serbian parents. Tesla was part of Austrian-Hungarian monarchy and the whole Balkan is now waiting for us what we are going to do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to thank you all for joining us here on this beautiful sunny morning, finally. Um, and we're all here to take a stand for Wardenclyffe. To let the world know that this place matters. Your presence shows it matters to you and the presence of all our elected officials shows it matters to them as well. This site has historical significance. Designed by Stanford White, one of the preeminent architects of his age, it is the last remaining laboratory of his friend, scientist and inventor Nikola Tesla. Tesla can be credited with many of the discoveries and inventions that have created our modern age and have led to so much of what we take for granted today. Alternating current and gen uh, generation and distribution in the harnessing of Niagara Falls, the bladeless turbine, remote control and robotics, including the first patent for the logic gate on which our computers depend, the spark plug igniter for our cars, the formative patents for radio, early x-rays that he shared with Rankin, and so much more. He foresaw wireless transmission of pictures and speech and was developing a system for wireless transmission of energy, something MIT scientists are now beginning to accomplish. Without his work, our lives would be much different and his importance has been too long underappreciated. There are other scientists and inventors whose homes and laboratories have been preserved and it seems negligent to allow this special place to go unprotected. It's the hope of the Tesla Science Center with the help of our representatives and you, to find the means to acquire this property. We'd like to create a science center here, <clears throat> devoted to educating students and families about science and to pursuing some of Tesla's inquiry into energy by establishing a living museum where research can continue in his honor. Tesla and his work are of interest to a worldwide audience, and we believe that the establishment of a museum and science center here will generate support for energy research and more inquiry into Tesla and his work. Tesla's great nephew, William Turbo, was unable to be here today due to family obligations, but he wanted me to tell you all that he appreciates what people are doing here, that he will be writing letters to encourage this preservation, and that he will do whatever he can to support it. Tesla said, when referring to other inventors 100 years ago, the present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. That future is now, and it is our turn to do what is necessary to make his work part of our future. I hope you'll listen to the speakers here, take their words out into the community and beyond, and share with the world our goal of, place, of a place of, for honoring Tesla and a place for science education and energy research. This will help us in pursuing the dream. Now I'd like you to welcome with me a very supportive person in our New York State Assembly, Mark Alessi. Thank you.
I can't tell you how excited I am that we're all here today. And we were all introduced, but I'd like you to give yourselves a round of applause for coming out here on a beautiful Sunday, Saturday. Sun, I meant sunny Saturday. Uh, I would love to go on and on about how important Tesla is to me. But luckily for all of you, I can't. I actually have to leave early. It's my daughter's first uh, dance recital. <laughs> but I wanted to be here today first to thank Jane Alcorn, Dave Madigan, the entire board for indoctrinating me into how important Tesla is uh, to, to our history. Not just this community, not just Long Island, not even just this country, but worldwide. The people that have been outpouring support in preserving this property has been enormous. So I stand here today happy to announce that I've been able to secure a grant at the state level for $350,000 to help serve, thank you, to help serve, thank you. To serve as a down payment on the protection and preservation of this property, I look forward to working with all my colleagues in government at every level, public and private partnerships, to make sure not only that we get the museum that is necessary here, but we don't just remain static. It's not just about remembering our, prayer, uh, our past. We have to embrace our future. I'm hoping that more research gets done here, groundbreaking research that revolutionizes the way we energize our lives. Thank you. This is the first thing. <laughs> Tesla is basically my superhero. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And I've only known about him for years, so it's kind of, had I known about him before, I wouldn't be doing the work I'm doing, which is uh, just computers. Um, I'd actually be doing electrical engineering just because of, you know, he's, he's so, for me, he's so inspirational, you know, as far as, um, as, a, as an individual and all the things he has done for, you know, technology and, and, uh, and our country and our world. Really? I mean, everything, uh, everything that he's done, basically, he's laid a foundation in the last hundred years, you know, for, for technology to, to go beyond what mankind has done since the beginning, you know, in the last hundred years, we've had we've had more technology um, grown off of his foundation than, than at any other time.